orbital strikes may give people the cod shakes, but now we can play around with the feature in Planet Side 2 for the first time on the test server. There's actually a lot that's been done to minimize the frustration, and I'll be going over these and the general state of this now in this video. Oh, and by the way, if you wanted to roleplay as a Doverkin in Planet Side 2, well, now's your chance. But there's one I fear. In their tongue, he's Dovakin. Dragonborn! With the funnies out of the way, the Orbital Strike is a generator and it is part of the construction system. You must build the generator with a silo that has some cortium, the energy stored within it. The generator must charge up to 4 bars before firing, and each bar takes 5 minutes apart from the first one which appears instantly. The generator is already marked on everyone's map, but once it's ready to fire a yellow ring will appear, which shows on the minimap as well as the main map, and this indicates the range at which you can fire. This yellow ring will keep growing to the maximum fire ranging of 800 meters, and once fully charged you can call forth the ethereal beam from the heavens twice. However, the charge depleted you'll only be able to fire at the minimum range on the second shot, and this is the same if you've got the four bars. To place the death beam you need to take the dart tool from the generator's console, and fire it at least 200 meters away from the generator. You can't place it in no construction zones, so you can only really place it on fights outside of permanent bases. When the beam is called, two rings appear on the minimap, and pretty much everything will die in either of the rings. And one thing that did survive though was a shielded Sundra, so there's that. And as an infantry player, you can run to the edge and survive the damage. However, anything not caught in the blast zone will be thrown into the air around 200 meters, and anything but a light assault will be pretty screwed. I can see riding the orbital strike waves being a thing for thrill seekers, and you can easily survive being tossed up in a rasa. The problem with the flash though is you're still blinded. The beam that's called down seems to do damage all the way down the beam, so as you're flying overhead you will be fried along with your mates on the ground. Also, you can be tossed away by the blast if you're quite close in the air, so there may be some crashes that happen because of this. The blast currently at the centre seems to destroy any buildings and melt sky shields like butter. Anything outside of that is taken to burning. Honestly, I think it does do too much damage at the moment and it really does decimate a base. I thought the sky shield might block it, then it would give a reason to also use this with the ion cannon to disable it first of all. As the orbital strike stands, I don't think it's going to be something which is hated or too frustrating. Firstly, you have a long time to react to the generator charging up. You can see exactly how far it can be fired on your map and minimap, and also you can see where it is to destroy it. If anything, this might be the motivator to engage with player bases rather than ignoring them, which is kind of happening at the moment in a lot of cases. Also, when it's actually called, you see the rings and can run out of the blast zone. Even if your survival rate as a non-jetpacking infantryman are extremely low, Add this to the fact the person who constructed the strike needs to get in range to drop the dart in the first place means it won't be sudden death out of nowhere, and honestly missing all the warning signs is going to be what gets you killed. I do get this is another confusion for newer players, but the bottom line is it's quite a fun feature and adds to the meta. I truly hope they don't decide to get rid of the physics element into the explosion. It's hilarious, and in live would be such a spectacle, especially with a group of tanks sent flying. I would sit there, peering out the cockpit at the sky before my inevitable explosive doom, and thinking, I'm not even mad. Anyway, that's pretty much the orbital strike as it currently stands. As something that's fun, maybe a little too good against bases, and something that could shake up the meta slightly. I'd also like to briefly mention that the Iron Cannon now has an indicator to warn of the firing zone, which you can see and avoid on your minimap, which also draws attention to enemies who could disable the dart. Plus, it's also had a revamp to the sound, and it's got an ominous whistle now as it comes to land. It really does give the air of fear for the air raid to come. What does everyone else think about the Orbital Strike as it stands currently? Are you excited for it? Do you think it should be different? Or do you think it shouldn't be in at all? Be sure to let me know in the comments section below. If the video fusro dared you away, give it a like. If you thought it was a load of cod zwallop, give it a dislike. I plan on doing a Starbound slash No Man's Sky video tomorrow, then on Thursday a video comparing Planet Side 2 and Battlefield 4, so be sure to subscribe not to miss them. Thank you all very much for watching, until next time, Joshino.